Hey guys, welcome, welcome to Chit Chat Patty Whack. My name's Ania. My husband Steve is gonna be joining us shortly. We were invited back to do season four of the slow cooker crab crab crab. A Christmas story. Fall cooker collab for winter, and we are going to make not one, but two things. Why two, you may ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. The first one we're going to make is a cheeseburger soup, because you got to have something warm in your belly. But the second one, it is a dessert, and it is a dessert for Christmas morning for the Weight Watcher mom, nana, auntie, lady in your life. And I'm specifying lady because, can you guys see my fabulous accessories? If I move over here, can you see even better? Uh, my mom on Christmas morning, for dessert, she gets yummy breads, uh, yummy cakes, little square cakes. Blueberry, carrot cake, walnut, carrot. I said carrot, carrot and maybe sometimes even some carrot. And she gets cream cheese and we put it on there and it is so delicious. And that is a Christmas tradition for moi. But now that I'm a Weight Watcher, that tradition isn't working out so well for me. I delved into the app of my Weight Watcher recipes and oh yes, guess what I found? Slow cooker blueberry coffee cake. Yay! So, I'm going to get things set up for the cheeseburger soup. Again, if you're thinking to yourself, self, why is this lady making cheeseburger soup for a winter slow cooker meal? Well, we live in Southern California. Um, our weather is kind of the same except for one or two or three or four days out of the year where it's chilly. Let me get this stuff together for our first meal. And, and and Carrie, thanks again for having me back. I have so much fun doing these and we haven't done one in a long time. So let's start off with our ingredients. First thing you need, crock pot, slow cooker. You're going to need flour, cooking spray, a block of cold beer, cheddar, low fat cheese, very lean burger, celery, fat free condensed milk, chicken broth, onion, garlic, paprika, pepper, salt, and it calls for baked tortilla chips. We couldn't find any, so we got these good things that are corn sea salt and they have the same taste. So we're going to go with those. And don't forget your liner. First thing we're going to do is we're going to spray our nice big skillet and let it sit for about 30 seconds. You guys, look who's here, and look how cute he looks. The lighting in here at night. Look how cute he is. Do a 360 for the folks, people, honey, whoever you are. Does that not scream festivity to you? Come in closer so they can see you. Look at us, aren't we cute? Let's go for a thumbnail. Let's. We gotta go for a thumbnail. Okay, smile. Die. Oh, yeah. Tell me again. What am I adding? These three, and what else? That's it for now. Oh, okay. You just need to kind of sweat these, Brown? Yeah, yes. All right. There's our celery. Celery, cel, cel, celery, celery, celery. Chopped garlic. Diced onions. Oh, they're frozen. Give it a stir. Okay, hold your ears, everybody. Okay, okay. all right. And then he's gonna take this. Mash it up. And he's going to cook that on up and tell us more stories about... What is this? 93... I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it in there. Look at me. Am I fantastic or what? Okay, so then pour that into the skillet. What is this? Condensed milk? Keep, keep doing that and mm -hmm. I'll add this and we'll do it like a team. Look at you using your spurtle. Bring to a simmer, scraping up browned bits in the bottom. So we want to bring this to a simmer. Mm -hmm. Dude, how high is your heat? Is it on? 
Yeah, I just turn on low when I okay. took the ground beef off. See, this is what we should be doing while we're cooking. Mm. No, no squinting, smile. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so I am going to have my honey wrap up the rest into the slow cooker. In case you forgot or you went to the bathroom or you were watching the X-Files or something, we have our meat and veggies in there. Steve is going to pour in what we have on the... Go ahead, babe. Mm -hmm. Take that and pour it in there. And then those seasonings that I have sat there for you. Pepper. Paprika. Salt. Salt. Kosher salt. And then on the other side you have your evaporated milk. Yeah, that goes in there. Yes. There we go. Oh, that's And thick. cheese. Okay. Thick. And, and the cheese, cheese right. yes. There we go. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. There you go. Good champion. Alright. Is that all of it? That's it. Six ounces. Cubed. No darling, eight ounces. Eight ounces. Okay. Hi, we're back. We're back! Did you miss us? I'm gonna put the crock pot into the into the big heater element. But let's show it instead of just talking about it. There we go. Hold on, babe. Yep. And why don't you go ahead? <clears throat> you guys want to make sure you pull this out of the outside. Oh uh, yes. That's all right. Why don't you go ahead and plug it in? And make sure that it's plugged in. It is plugged in. And turn it on lid on it and set it down. We're going to do on the low setting for two hours. Okay. And put the lid on there. Cheeseburger soup. Never had it. It's going to taste good. It's gonna, we got this the other day too for Grandpa and Oliver oh, to make. Gingerbread cookies. Gingerbread cookies. <laughs> but also, there is going to be a, two, a part two to this with blueberry coffee cake. And uh, let's let you guys go relax a little bit. We're going to relax a little bit. And we'll see you in here when it's done, okay? Okay? Bye. Well, good day to you, Paddywhackers. I'm a friend of Steve and Anita's, and they asked me to step in and give you a little message. It seems they don't know how to read. <laughs> uh, the recipe for their wonderful cheeseburger soup called for unsweetened, low-fat, evaporated milk. They put in non-fat, sweetened, condensed milk, therefore causing it to taste unlike anything they had tasted before. But they are relatively sure that if you make the recipe in the correct fashion, that you will enjoy it very much. Now, let me go get Anita for you. She's in hiding because she's so embarrassed, and she's going to come back and make the second part of this cook with me. Go easy on the Johnsons, okay? Thanks. Hi guys, welcome back. This is the second part of our winter slow cooker collab. Carrie invited us. Thanks again, Carrie. This is going to be a test. I've never made anything like this before in my slow cooker. It is out of the Weight Watcher app and it is a fresh blueberry coffee cake. Yes, doesn't it sound delicious? I'm relatively sure I have all the correct ingredients this time. <laughs> the other one, I tasted it. I liked it. Steve, you know, his face contorted kind of crazily. I liked it. So I know if it cooked properly, it would taste really good. But let's forget that and move on with our coffee cake. Let's take a look at our ingredients. You need some cooking spray, canola oil, salt, regular flour, wheat flour, sugar or sugar substitute, plain Greek yogurt, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, vanilla, an egg, a cup of fresh strawberries, and some powdered sugar. When cut into eight slices, each serving is five smart points on this. It's in your Weight Watcher app and it's just simply slow cooker blueberry coffee cake. All right, I have it all ready to go. Let's do this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pour all of our flours, that's the regular flour, wheat flour, 
I'm using a sugar substitute, so I have it measured out kind of funkily. Is that a word? Funkily? And everything else into here. Cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, all of our dry ingredients. When did that turn off on you guys? Oh, if I'm not moving, it turns off. All right, so I mixed this all up and we're gonna pour it in here. Oh, I hate when my camera does that and I don't know why it does that. It did on my last cook with me. I apologize. What a drag. All right, well, I'm just gonna have to keep moving so that doesn't happen again. Oh, man. It's kind of interesting. Or I wonder if it's more about talking or movement. Okay, and then it says to take a wooden spoon, but yeah, we don't need no stinking wooden spoons around here. We need a spurtle, but I'm going to use a bigger one. And we are just going to mix this up. I need to get a big clear bowl. Whoops, which, which way? Need it? Which way? Oh, there we go. All right, now it says to pour in our blueberries. I got some schmutz in my hand because I kind of had to. I kind of had to do this. Let me show you what I did. I kind of did this because I wasn't getting the desired results from. From oh, did you guys see my ring? <laughs> I should have taken it off. Uh, I wasn't getting my desired results. It just seems like a very dry batter, but have faith, Anita. I'm going to add a little more yogurt because it was just a little too dry. I feel much better about this consistency. And gosh darn it, I was not going to be oh for 2 on my recipes today, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Alright. Our next thing is we are going to coat a 2 quart round dish. This is the closest thing I have. So that's what we're going to use. I'm going to be liberal because I hate nothing worse than when it sticks. Then we are going to put this delightful concoction. Oh. <coughs> In here. And I just smush it down so it's all kind of even. I'm very intrigued by this. It smells good. You can smell the cinnamon. And at this, you know, if this works, it is going to work, Anita. Come on. Positivity, lady. Positivity goes a long way. And I redo it on Christmas morning with, and I will get some cream cheese. Oh, yes, I will. It'll be fantastico. Whoa. That just worked. They want us to take this, coat that as well. I know it's probably too much, but I'm a more is more kind of gal. And then put it on tightly. I wish Steve was here. He's better with his hands. My hands just... Eh, it's okay. Now, I normally use liners, but there's no need to use a liner for this particular recipe. We are going to pour da, 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 two cups <laughs> of hot water in here. Okay. You, you seasoned cookers are all laughing at me, but hey, at least I'm, at least I'm giving it the old college try, right? I watched a gal today on YouTube make a... Tres leches cake, and let me tell you, that looked good. But it also looked like it had about two million points. All right, now we're going to place our covered baking dish in the slow cooker. And it is touching the bottom. I'm going to put it in here because I think it would fit better. It just isn't sitting on the bottom like I would like it to. So, we'll just take this extra minute and transfer it. There we go. That was easy enough. 
easy peasy lemon squeezy because you just can't hear people say that enough that and shenanigans it's time for people to start changing up their vocabulary people <laughs> okay now we're gonna cover it again oh yeah I feel better about this set it in here can you see that look at that isn't that cool look at us all or look at me, I should say, stepping out of my comfort zone. Let's plug this bad boy in and we're going to cook it on high for three to four hours. Okay, I think we're going to check it out and see if it's done or not. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about this. Okay, I'm totally excited about this. It just has the aroma and everything good about coffee cake on Christmas morning which is what I have had my whole life oh my goodness okay so I had um, grandpa and Oliver come in and take a look Oliver be respectful comment please. if you like if you think wiener dogs are cute oh or you can do that too five minutes turn cake upside down onto a wire I had put Steve in charge of the powdered sugar but he just didn't put enough on for my liking it was really good. We loved it. I highly recommend you make it. We have a little bit left, but we pretty much went at it last night. Good, good stuff. Thanks again, Carrie, for inviting us. We have so much fun doing these. And we'll see you guys soon. These head with a wagon wheel. Who did? He died with the toothache in his heel. So get out the way for old Dan Tucker. Get out the way for old Dan.